Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Oakley here from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and this, the, this is the complete wedding photography website tutorial and we are on step number seven. Uh, in the last step we created this slideshow which you can see now uh, flipping through on our home page. So that's really cool. And in this step we are going to create our final page which is going to go in our navigation bar which if you go back to our uh, site that we're modeling uh, it's called Work With Me. And the Work With Me page is uh, a kind of, it's a unique page. It's a pretty simple page, but remembering we're working within the Smug Mug system, we've got to, uh, in this step, we're going to have to do some creative things to get this page up and running as you see it now. So I'm going to go shoot, go through those steps. And this is probably going to be the most uh, complicated step in the, in the whole tutorial, but I'm going to give you everything you need to know uh, within this tutorial video as well as uh, probably some text instructions on the blog post so you'll be able to make it with me there'll be no problem we'll go step by step okay so the first thing we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna show you where the steps come from to create this uh, unique page and if we go into the smug mug help uh, page which you can get through on your site by clicking the help button if you go um, if you go down you'll see a, a section called customize your site and if you click on advanced customization FAQ or even if you do a search for advanced customization FAQ uh, you'll get to this page and there's just a whole bunch of information about uh, doing little sneaky tricks with your site to make things uh, make your site look the way you want now it took me months to go through all of these uh, different things to to finally make the site that I wanted to make so one of the advantages of this tutorial is I'm just uh, I'm just directing you straight to the to the ones uh, that we need to use to create our our site so what we're looking at is the guest book number 39 it might the numbers might have changed by the time you look at this video but um, right now it's number 39 but it's how do I make a guest book how do I make a guest book now we're not making a guest book, but the but the uh, the steps here are the same. So when you click on that link, you you head over to or you're, or you're sent to the the digital grin or the dgrin uh, .com forum, which is Smug Mug's uh, uh, forum on the side for its community to ask questions and answer questions about everything from customization to uh, uh, Smug Mug features and in photography and business and stuff. So it's a really good forum to belong to. So in here we've got. Uh, Somebody asked how to make this uh, this page, and here are the steps. So we're going to create a new gallery. Uh, we're going to lock the style to journal. We're going to add a photo, and we're going to do some photo description, and then we're going to do some uh, some minor custom uh, CSS coding, and then we're done. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So back on our site, uh, like the instructions say, we're going to upload a new gallery. This gallery, I'm going to call it Work with Me. But if you want to call it about me or um, my services or your investment or something like that, you can. But I'm, I'm going to fill in this one page is going to have the about me section, um, kind of a, uh, my services or your investment section, and then it's going to be uh, the last part is going to be testimonials. So now we're going to pick a category and I'm going to choose other, which is way at the bottom here, um, because this one is a standalone. A standalone gallery. It's not going to be a client gallery. It's just uh, we just got to fit it in somewhere. So I'm going to call it other. Uh, yep. Quick settings. I'm going to leave all the settings to default right now because uh, we're going to go into the gallery settings once we upload a, a few photos. And then uh, uh, because it's a unique gallery, I'm going to I'm going to do unique gallery settings on it. So if you remember on our site, we're going to have a picture about uh, a picture of you. So this is a picture of me. And then I'm going to have my uh, pictures from the different testimonial uh, couples, from the different couples that I got testimonials from. I'm going to use those in this gallery as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got that all lined up already, of course. So if I go find Finder, so I got Work With Me. So here's me and then my testimonial pictures. I'm going to drag and drop that in. It's just going to be one second here. It's not going to take long to upload at all. They don't have to be massive uh, photos. They can just be uh, sort of web-sized. As soon as that's done, I'm going to go back into the gallery. I'm done uploading. Okay, so here's our gallery, and uh, processing image is just fine. As soon as I hit refresh, 
those will show up. Or maybe refresh again. <laughs> Eventually they'll come up. There they are. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to go into tools and we want to go gallery settings. And we're not going to do quick settings. Um, essentials is fine. Smart galleries is fine. Extras is fine. Look and feel. So this one's important. So I want to go clean, sure. Camera info, no. File names, no. Thumbnails, it actually doesn't matter because we're going to force our gallery style. And this is the important step. Force your gallery style from viewer controlled to journal. Auto sort, we're actually going to manually sort and we can do that later. Uh, password, no. Privacy, that's all fine. External links, uh, that doesn't matter. Protected, uh, that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to say no. Watermarking, no. Hide owner, no. Uh, largest size, I just moved that to X3 large by default, but it really doesn't matter. Photo rank, no. Comments, no. Easy sharing, no. Photo edits, no. Family edits, no. Printable, no. I don't want the shopping cart to show up on the screen, so no, not not printable. Sharpening is all fine. So now we click save, and that's better. That's closer to what we want here. The next thing we want to do is we want to arrange our photos because we want um, the about me page or the about. Uh, about me at the top or the uh, picture of me at the top so tools and we're gonna go under many photos we're gonna go arrange and we're gonna go and um, we're gonna just go drag to arrange that should be easy enough so once I click that I've got this thing here I can just do that and I'm actually gonna go back to my site just to see what order I've got so I've got those guys with the dog those guys standing those guys sitting okay so we've got dog standing sitting perfect so that's now in order so I'm gonna go done yeah, so just in the drag and drop, you can just drag and drop. Easy. So I'm going to go done there. So now I'm at the top. Perfect. Okay. So I think now I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to, or stop it here, this video here, and I'm going to create a separate video to make sure that I'm under, underneath the 10 minute timeline. And uh, in the second video, we're going to work on getting the, uh, getting the text in for our page. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video.